This is the experiment called Friction. It's Lab 29 from the Middle School Science with Vernier Lab Manual. I'm going to be using a dual range force sensor connected to a LabQuest interface and using the LabQuest app. We're going to plug the dual range force sensor into channel 1 of the LabQuest and you can see it auto ID. So the first thing we need to do is change the rate and length of data collection. So I tap on rate, change it from 50 samples per second to 10 samples per second, and change the length from 10 seconds to 3 seconds, tap OK. Now the next thing I'm going to do is zero the force sensor. So I do that under sensors, zero, and choose dual range force sensor, and that should go down to zero. So the experiment is actually going to be dragging a piece of 2x4 across the table surface and measuring the force as I do that. So I'm going to use a paper clip to connect the dual range force sensor to the little hook on the end of the 2x4. On the LabQuest app, you can either tap the collect button here on the screen, but I'm going to use the button that is a collect button because it'll be easier since I'm using uh, two hands here. So I'm going to have my thumb ready to push collect and I'm going to start dragging this across the table and once I have it going I'll click collect and keep it going steadily for three seconds. And so that is the force as we pull across the table. It auto scales to a tight uh, y-axis. Okay so now I have my second surface which will be wood on wood ready to go. Before I collect that data I need to store my first run of data. So to do that, there's a little filing cabinet icon on the LabQuest, which I will tap, and now I'm ready for my second run. So again, I will start pulling this across, push my thumb, keep it going for three seconds. Okay, and there's our data. I'm going to now tap on this run number two, so I can select all runs. And you can see both runs of data on the screen now. You can see that the second run, which was wood on wood, is quite a bit higher than the first run on the bottom there, the red one, which was the wood right on the table. If you want to actually see what the average force for one of these runs would be, you can do that by tapping Analyze, choosing Statistics, and then tapping on the one you want to see. So for example, the mean or average Newtons of force for the wood on wood is 1.1412 Newtons. This lab also takes the students through dragging uh, on some carpeting or on other surfaces so you can comp compare the forces of friction on all different types of surfaces.